Today we have brought you the latest Tesla news. Tesla's open supercharger program extends to more countries in Europe. Tesla FSD beta version 10.12 update going out to employees as 2022.12.3.10. Tesla is building a giant supercharger midway between Los Angeles and Las Vegas. And Tesla increases top speed of autopilot with Tesla Vision to 85 miles per hour. Let's get into all the details. So let's get started. Tesla's open supercharger program, which allows non-Tesla electric vehicles to charge at the company's rapid charging stations, has been expanded to several more countries in Europe. In an announcement on its official Twitter account, the electric vehicle maker revealed that non-Tesla vehicles could now charge at selected superchargers in Austria, Belgium, Spain, Sweden, and the UK. Prior to the recent update, the open supercharger program was only available for selected superchargers in the Netherlands, Norway, and France. It was also limited only to EV drivers who live in the Netherlands, Norway, France, Germany, and Belgium. While Tesla's open supercharger program has now been expanded to eight countries, it should be noted that the capability to charge non-Tesla vehicles is only available at selected supercharger sites. Tesla would likely expand the program to more superchargers in each country over time, however, similar to how non-Teslas can now charge at all superchargers in the Netherlands. Non-Tesla owners who wish to try out the company's supercharger network are required to download the Tesla mobile app from the Apple App Store or Google Play Store. After setting up the app with the appropriate payment method, non-Tesla EV owners would simply need to locate a compatible supercharger stall and plug in their car and initiate the charging sequence. Ending the charging session is also accomplished through the Tesla app. While Tesla's open supercharger program is growing well in Europe, the company is yet to launch a similar service for non-Tesla EV owners in the United States. Elon Musk, however, has mentioned that plans are underway to open Tesla's US superchargers to non-Tesla electric cars as well. Moving to the next update, Tesla FSD beta version 10.12 update going out to employees as 2022.12.3.10. The Tesla full self-driving beta version 10.12 update is now going out to employees. Last week, Elon Musk noted that Tesla FSD beta 10.12 contains a lot of updates to the self-driving code, meaning there will be a lot of new tendencies and behaviors discovered during testing. Tesla employees will assess the update first before releasing it to customers participating in the FSD beta program. It also shows the EV manufacturer's increasing confidence in Tesla Vision, its camera-based autopilot system. If everything goes well with update 10.12, Musk predicts that Tesla may lower the required safety score to join the beta program to 95 plus. Team is working the weekend to get 10.12 in limited release tomorrow. Then we evaluate, do a point update, and broaden the release. 10.12.2 is probably where we can expand to a safety score of 95 plus, Musk said, replying to a question on Twitter. Decreasing the required safety score would inevitably increase the number of users in the program. At the All in Summit Tech conference earlier this week, Musk said that Tesla aims to expand the FSD beta pool. Currently, 100,000 Tesla drivers are participating in the beta program. Tesla is considering expanding the pool of testers to 1 million by the end of 2022. More drivers in the program means more data for Tesla. More data means Tesla FSD will become more accurate as well as more complex. Moving to the next update, Tesla is building a giant supercharger midway between Los Angeles and Las Vegas. Barstow Mayor Paul Courtney recently confirmed that an upcoming Tesla supercharger in the city would be one of the United States' largest supercharger sites to date. The site is projected to feature an impressive 100 Tesla supercharger stalls. Barstow is a remote Mojave Desert town, though it lies at the midpoint between Los Angeles and Las Vegas. 
Considering the increasing number of Teslas on the road and the company's efforts to open the supercharger network to other non-Tesla EVs in the near future, the need for more rapid charging stations is definitely there. During a Barstow City Council meeting recently, Courtney noted that the massive Tesla supercharger site is already months into its construction. The location of the charging station is quite strategic as it is being built adjacent to the outlets at Barstow, an open-air retail mall, and a major local sales tax driver, according to a report from the Daily Press. The mayor also stated that Southern California Edison has a May 30 deadline to pump excess power into the upcoming supercharger. Overall, Courtney noted that the Tesla supercharger project stands as another historic win for the city. Actions and results speak. Prior to going to the SCAG meeting a week and a half ago, there was a possible issue that we do not have enough power out in Lenwood for the first phase of a Tesla charging units. 100 units projected. The largest charging station in the US, right out there. It's the potential of not having enough power for phase one. Well, long story short, we got a commitment from Edison to have enough power for phase one by Memorial Day to open up the first leg of the Tesla charging stations. That just didn't happen overnight. It happens when we work on our relationships, talk individual, proving that it's important to all of us, all of us, and when we have competent staff like our CM, our operations people, public works, it goes on and on, we get things done. The majority results speak over and over and over and over, the mayor said. The impressive size of the Barstow supercharger has caught the eye of Tesla watchers over the past months. Back in February, Marco R.P. Tesla, an EV advocate who has been tracking the supercharger network's expansion, posted images of the Barstow supercharger's construction. The Tesla advocate observed then that the site seemed surprisingly large, and he estimated that it could hold about 60 to 80 supercharger stalls. Considering the mayor's comments, an estimate of 60 to 80 supercharger stalls was still conservative. Moving to the last update, Tesla increases top speed of autopilot with Tesla Vision to 85 miles per hour. Tesla has started to push a new software update to increase the top speed limit of autopilot for vehicles with Tesla Vision to 85 miles per hour. It is almost a year to the day that Tesla announced the transition to its Tesla Vision autopilot without radar. The idea was that it would transition to only using camera-based computer vision in its autopilot system instead of using inputs from both cameras and radars. You'd think that more data would be better, but Tesla's idea is that the roads are designed for humans who operate them using a vision-based system with their natural neural nets in their brains. The automaker believes it best to try to replicate that purely with cameras and artificial neural nets and not let the data from the radar pollute that. However, Tesla warned that the transition would result in limitations of some autopilot features at first. One of those limitations has been the top speed at which auto steer, autopilot's main feature that keeps a vehicle in its lane, was limited to 75 miles per hour. This was quickly raised to 80 miles per hour, but it has stayed at that speed for a while, and owners have been asking for Tesla to raise it. Regular autopilot with radar would have a 90 miles per hour top speed. Now, Tesla has started to increase the limit for vision-only vehicles to 85 miles per hour, according to an update on Tesla's website. It's not quite at parity with pre-vision-only autopilot, but it is getting closer in terms of the top speed that's it for now. So what are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments. Stay tuned at the electric arena for all the latest Tesla and electric vehicle news.